Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to give you an introduction to Squarespace e-commerce. Squarespace allows you to easily set up your own online store and sell not just physical products, but all different types of products as well. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what you can do as well as share some tips and show you some special features. If we haven't met yet, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if you have an online business or you're hoping to launch one, definitely hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon too so you get notified every time I post a new video. So let's start with the different products that you can sell. In Squarespace, you can sell physical products. So this is anything that needs to be shipped out to the customer. You can also sell digital products. So this is how you would sell something like an ebook. And then if you're a freelancer or service-based business, you can actually accept payments for your services as well. And if you're on the Squarespace advanced commerce plan, you can sell gift cards. So speaking of which, let's talk about the Squarespace pricing plans and which one you need to be on in order to sell products. In order to sell products, you do need to be on the business plan. So this is $18 per month if you're paying annually or $26 month to month. What's great about this plan is that you can sell unlimited products. The only thing is there is a 3% transaction fee, so it's likely that you are going to want to upgrade to one of the online store plans, otherwise known as the commerce plans. So with this one, you have the basic and advanced. Again, you can sell unlimited products, but now there are no transaction fees. One of the main reasons that you might want to upgrade to the advanced plan is because then you get access to subscriptions or payment plans. I'll leave a link for this pricing page down below so that you can go and check out all of the features. So you might be wondering what template you need to be on in order to sell products. What I love about Squarespace is you can sell products on any of the templates. So if you already have a Squarespace website, you are good to go and you can add products to your site. If you are just getting started, I recommend that you use one of the templates in the Brine family because these are the most flexible and have a few more features that are great for commerce. So after you've picked your pricing plan and your template, it's time to add products to your store. So how do you do that? In Squarespace, you're going to click on pages and then scroll down to the not linked section going to click on the plus sign and select products. So here you can just title this products and this is where you will put all of your products on your site. Now, when you just click right here, you will see your different options for adding the different types of products. Then to add your product, you just need to click here and then choose which type of product you want to add to your store. When you do that, you're going to click on it and then enter all of your product information here. I also want to mention that there is a fifth type of product that you can add to Squarespace and that is your online course. So if you do want to sell an online course with Squarespace, that is definitely possible and I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. So a few more things that I want to mention Squarespace hooks up with Stripe and PayPal, so you can accept all different types of credit cards as well as PayPal. And for those of you with physical products, it has an integration with ShipStation so that you can easily and quickly print your shipping labels. So let me show you quickly how to add a product. So I'm just going to click here to add my first product. And let's say that I'm doing a physical product. I'm going to click on that. And then here is where I would upload my product images. So let's say that I'm going to sell my launch guide and ship it to you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna type in the title over here and then I'm going to add my price. So I'm going to click on that. You'll see pricing, just click on this, and here is where you would enter your price. Another reason I love Squarespace is because of how easy they make putting something on sale. 
But for now, I'm just going to show you this. And here is where you would add your skew, the stock, the weight, and your dimensions. So for now, I'm just going to click on stock and change that to unlimited. All right, so back to our item, we would put our product description here. Whoops, I can't spell. <laughs> okay. And then we have a few other tabs. You have additional info. If you want to add more information on your product, you can absolutely do that. You can add videos, any type of content below the main product image. Then we have form. If you need to collect more information from someone at checkout, and then we have options. So here you need to add your product URL. So I'm going to add launch guide. And if you want, you can change the language on the buttons, but I'm happy with the default. Then I need to upload my thumbnail image. Awesome. And the final tab is social. In this tab, you can automatically share your products that you add to your store on social media. All right, so I'm going to click save and publish and show you what this will look like on your website. So if I go over here, as you can see, we now have our product ready for sale. And if I click on this, this is what my main product page is going to look like. So it looks pretty awesome. And as with Squarespace, you can customize this page a ton. So if I go into design and then site styles, you will see all these different customization options for your products page. So for example, if I wanted to change the position of this image, I could absolutely do that. Then you can also customize the fonts and the colors for your brand, as well as choose what you want to display. So for example, if I didn't want to show those share buttons, I could simply turn those off. Okay, great. So another thing I absolutely love about Squarespace is that you can add your product to whatever page that you want. So for example, let's say you want to write a blog post and share your most recent product. You can absolutely do that. So on any page or blog, you can add a link for someone to purchase your product. Let me show you an example on this test page here. So with my insert point, I can click on that, scroll down and add a product block. If I click on that, I just need to type in the title of my product and it will bring it up for me. Great, okay. And so as you can see, I can add this anywhere on my site and I can choose to show the description as well as a button. Awesome, so I'm going to change this to center alignment and you can also enable quick view, which I'm going to talk about in a second. So let me click apply and show you, I'm gonna make this a bit smaller so you can see it. Okay, awesome. So yeah, you can add this product block here anywhere that you would like on your site, which makes it really easy for people to purchase. So now I want to go over a few special features that I love. So the first is that quick view. So let me show you what happens when you enable that. If I click on this and then click apply and then save, as you can see, when I hover over my image, I'm now going to get this quick view button. And if someone were to click on that, it's going to bring up more information about the product in this nice pop-up window. So this is especially convenient if you have multiple products, then people don't need to actually leave the product page to view more information on your product. So that's the first feature that I love. The second is the image zoom. So if I click on this, you can determine that when people hover on your image, it's going to zoom in. So this is really great if you have a physical product and you need to show more details. So my third favorite feature is the express checkout. So at the moment, if somebody were to click add to cart, this is simply going to add a number to the cart here and someone would need to click on that and then see their cart page before they check out. So if you want, you can bypass this step if you go into commerce and then checkout, scroll down and enable express checkout. 
Okay, so I'm going to click Save on that, remove this item from my cart, and go back to my product page. So now someone is going to see a different button and if they click on it, they are going to be instantly led to the checkout page instead. So as you can see, there is tons that you can do with Squarespace Commerce. If you want to learn more about how to do this, I teach it inside my course website that wows, where I share with you all the different variations that you could possibly need in terms of setting up your online store. So click the link below this video and you'll see a link to the blog post that accompanies this video. In that, you'll see an option to sign up for a free trial of my online course, any important links for you to check out, as well as a 10% discount code for Squarespace. All right guys, that's it for my Squarespace e-commerce overview. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions at all, just leave those for me in the comments below. And don't forget to check the description because I've left a 10% discount code for you there. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.